so children in this chapter we learned about latitudes and longitudes and the and what are the features of this latitudes and longitudes okay and after that in the second video we learned that sorry in the first video we learned that how to locate a place in an atlas or in globe isn't it so i shown that uh, this one these vertical lines and horizontal lines are there they will meet at one point and then after that we can locate a place in our atlas isn't it so that lines are latitudes and longitudes isn't it and these latitudes and longitudes crisscross each other at a point that is known as grids okay we can see in the square shape square form of lines are there columns are there these are known as grids okay the latitudes and longitudes are criss cross each other at a point isn't it these lines this form of uh, lines are known as grids okay and through this grids we can locate a place easily in a globe in a globe it is difficult but in an atlas through this grids we can locate a place very easily okay and then longitudes help us to calculate time time of the of a place okay longitudes help us to calculate or locate time of a particular place so we all know that seven continents are there in that seven continents how many countries are there lot of nations are there isn't it but in every continent these countries are having different different timings isn't it suppose in our country this is 12 pm is it or 12 30 pm but in america night time it is is it so timing is different in every continents so how how it is possible so here it is 180 degree international date line is there is it what is the duty of this international date line that means if we will cross this if any country will cross this zigzag line okay international date line then our date will change okay then we will add one day clear i will show you so here is our international date line this zigzag line in a globe this is international date line okay and here our country india is here so we all know that our earth is rotating isn't it while rotating our country will cross this international date line then our date will change that means today is saturday and then 12 am sunday will begin isn't it and here japan is there japan is known as the land of the rising sun why because japan is situated in the extreme east of our this okay eastern hemisphere so that is why they will move firstly and they will see the rising sun first is it that is why that land is known as the land of the rising sun so any country will cross this international date line then their date will change so that is the reason all these countries and are having different different timings clear so these are grids okay so latitudes and longitudes criss cross each other and that form of lines crossing lines form of crossing lines these are known as grids so what is the duty of grids grids through grids we can locate a place in our atlas okay and longitudes especially the interna international date line help us to calculate the timing of the place of a particular place or a country clear this much so only this much about our second chapter so it is little bit difficult but it is easy also okay so if you are having books read the chapter two three times and what all the things are there okay in this videos what all the things i am i was uh, written i have written in this board you can write in your copy okay and then chapter 1 exercises also i have given in parent portal and in e learn app also and for today's homework i am giving you only two small homework first 
one. In which direction? The longitudes are. Okay, the second question What is the meaning of the word meridian? So, two small columns are there. In which direction the longitudes are running? That is the first one. Second one, what is the meaning of the word meridian? Only this much. Okay, I will upload the second chapters, question answer, and all the answers of other exercises in the parent portal very soon. Thank you, students.